In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction to Google Sites. Um, this introduction will include how to log in, how to manage your sites, how to create a new site, and how to add collaborators to your site. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to sites.google.com. Once you get there, you want to log in with your WCPS username and password. So once you've logged in, you're going to come to the main sites screen, which is a list of all of the websites that you have created and the websites that have been shared with you. Um, you can see deleted sites here on the side, so any that maybe you have deleted at some point, and you can browse your sites as well. Um, later I'll show you how to add a hashtag to um, kind of describe your site and that this would be a place that you could search there. Um, here you can also search other websites that have been created by Google. So um, for instance instructional technology just popped out. You could click on that and find websites that other people have created with that tag. From your list you simply click on um, whichever site that you would like to visit in order to um, be taken there to make your edits and such. To create a site, simply click the big red create button in the top left um, corner. It's going to ask you to select a template and then to name your site. So I typically go with the blank template, however there are many templates for you to choose from, some of which are specific to WCPS. So you can see that Emma K. Daub has created a template for their student portfolio, so any students who um, are at that school that are creating their portfolio would start their site using this template um, and there are others as here as well. I'll show you later how to create a template um, that you can share with your um, staff, students, whatever the case may be. Um, you can also view public templates so sc under schools and education um, there are a bunch of different ones. I've seen several teachers who use this classroom site um, template as their um, class website but there are lots of other ones that you can choose from. For this tutorial I'm going to stick with the blank template and I'm going to call this site sample for tutorial. And here it's going to give you um, the domain of your website. You can click here to find out about changing the name, the, the uh, URL of your website, but again I typically just stick with what's given. Um, underneath of select a theme, if you click the down arrow, it's going to give you a ton of different color options and different theme options and things like that. Some of this stuff will be editable later and some of it just goes with the theme. Um, just for fun, I'm going to choose cherry pie. Um, and then again, if you click the down arrow under more options, um, you can add, oh, here's where you can add the category um, or the hashtag or the tag, like I was saying earlier. So you could put here instructional technology or education or, you know, class website. And then you can actually type in a description of the site as well. Once you've made all of the changes here that you would like, you simply click create and it's going to take you to your website. So once you're into the website, there are lots and lots of options um, and ways to edit and things. In fact, there'll be se there will be several tutorials about that. Um, but one important thing to note is that when you're collaborating on a website with other people, only one person can be working on a page at a time. So you can't have... Um, say multiple people on the home page making edits at the same time and if someone's on the page when you try to go in to make an edit um, Google will alert you that someone's on that page uh, so you're not accidentally making changes that don't end up being saved so multiple people can be working on the site at the same time but not on the page at the same time um, so just like your other Google tools up in the top right corner there's a blue share button and by clicking on that you can um, invite people to come to your website as collaborators. So um, just like other things, you can type the person's name in specifically and share it with them that way or invite them that way. Um, you can also change it so that, um, say, anyone with, um, anyone at Washington County Public Schools who has the link can access it and you can change that to view or edit so you could open it up to everybody in the county. Um, you could change it to where actually anybody with the link can view but it will not allow you to do anyone with the link can edit so you have to actually it's somehow invite people or again they could be under the WCPS um, umbrella so once you've made the changes that 
um, you want to change there, you just click Save, and that will save um, those share set settings. Up next, I'm going to show you how to edit the design of your website and change the layout.